Hey guys, today we'll build this new Footy Mini Brands food court. I got it on Amazon for $14.99, which is pretty cheap when you consider that two Footy Balls will cost you $16.98. So we have here the instructions manual, and then we have the stickers, and of course all the packages. If you notice, the packages have different colors, and I'm really curious if they're actually color-coded. I'm pretty sure in here we have that exclusive uh, Mini, so let's open it and see what it is. All right, so it seems this is uh, a foot long Subway sandwich. I forgot what's it called. Let me check the collector's guide real quick. All right, there it is, the foot long turkey. So unfortunately, you can only get this in the food court. And if you want to complete the collection, you're probably going to have to buy one of these. Yeah, so it seems like it's not color coded, which is just kind of sad. So first we need the base and the plates, and I'm guessing this is uh, where they are. So this part is pretty simple. You basically just need to match, you know, the letters that are on these plates. Same thing with these. They will go right over here on the side. So this is the next biggest bag and I'm guessing this is the sign of the food court. Yep, that's what it is. From previous experience, I think the best thing is to put the stickers on now and then put them together because otherwise it's going to be it's going to be really hard to add the sticker afterwards. Okay, that's not bad at all. It actually looks really good, doesn't it? Seems like this is amongst the last things that we're supposed to do, but like I said, it's hard to tell because you don't know what's in each bag, you know? I mean, I guess I could just open all of them at once. So technically the next step would be to put these in. All right, that was easy. Next, we need to put these uh, windows thingies over there. Honestly, so far, I feel like this is a better quality than the Mini Mart that was, you know, in the past. Everything just stays together a lot better, I think. I mean, so far. All right, and then we need to put these on top. It's time to add a whole bunch of stickers to these things. Okay, I could have done a better job with this one, but it's it's not bad. It's it's pretty pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Let's try from the bottom part. I think that's a little better, right? Okay, and the last sticker, my favorite burgers. There we go. Right, we're done with the soda. And the last one is the burgers station, which just has this little thingy. And now these two will go over here. And then these two will go over there. So now these created the supports for those stations. So we're just gonna put those on and clip them in place. All right, that's perfect. Let me give you a better view of what we have so far. That looks pretty nice, right? All right, let's keep on building. See, I knew that at one point I'm going to have to build these accessories one way or another. You know, I think this is a little bit strange. See how dirty these are and scratched? Like, what's what's the deal with that, Mini Brands? It almost looks as if it was used and then, you know, broken up again into pieces and put into this set. I don't know, is it just me? All right, there's our fountain drink. I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. I'm, I'm impressed. All right, next up is this self-checkout station. Oh, 
One thing I like is that they give you extra stickers just in case you, you know, really mess up stuff. This keypad sticker is incredibly small. Even so, it doesn't look perfect, but yeah, it's the best I could do right now. And then it goes here into the base. There we go. Perfect. Now for the menu. All right, up next is the cash register. Cash register is complete. So we actually get two cash registers. I just built the second one. Before we continue building, I just want to do a quick comment shout out. And this one goes to, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, BD Greeny. And they are saying number 67 is a straw dispenser. It sits next to the soda fountain on the store photo. Great unboxing video as always. Well, BD Greeny, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the unboxing video. And as they mention, there it is. That was the number 67 that I had no clue what it is. It is so obvious right now and it feels so dumb. I got a lot of comments from y'all about that being the straw dispenser and thanks everyone for bearing with me. All right, let's continue building. And it, funny enough, the next thing that we need to put together is the straw dispenser itself. Yeah, so that makes sense. These are straws, they're not, they're some type of like heating elements or something. I thought it's that thing at 7-Eleven where, you know, they cook and they keep warm the hot dogs and the, the takis or no, not takis, um, uh, what do they call them? Taquitos? Yeah, that's what I thought it is, but no, it's a, it's a straw dispenser. Okay, I think next is the station for the ketchup and mustard dispenser. All right. So far so good. So now it's time to build a ketchup dispenser. And of course to add the stickers. I think using tweezers is the perfect way to, you know, place it perfectly like that. Because yeah, otherwise with your hand you can't see, like with the tweezers you can kind of like move it around and see what's the best placement for it. Time for the mustard. Right over there. It's perfect. All right, mustard is also done. We already finished with the sign because we jumped ahead. So I think now it's just a matter of putting everything together. I'm going to try to change the point of view. Hopefully it works. Hello. <laughs> I got to say, I really like this new point of view. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. All right, so the next step is to put these in. So then we can put some tables on top and uh, some chairs around them. I'm hoping these go in both ways because I don't see any special, I don't know, shapes or anything, but they are going in pretty, they're pretty snug in there. So that's what worries me that I might have to take them off. I really hope that's not the case. Oh, I'm missing a, oh, there it is. I thought I'm missing a chair. And then look how cool this is. It has the Foodie Mini Brands logo on it. Right now, everything we built, we just need to put it in place. So we're probably going to start from the back and move forward so that you guys can have a better view of everything. First, the soda machine, then the infamous straw dispenser, followed by the two cash registers. And the food trays, which by the way, we got five of them. And it shows us here to put one next to each cash register and then three next to the straw dispenser. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's put this self checkout station next. And we're saying that the menu actually goes on the table. Last but not least, the entrance or the sign, whatever you want to call it. There we go. So it seems like we finished the food mart. Oh, I mean the food court. 
don't go anywhere because this is not finished. I'm going to do a nice like 360 and I'm going to also add some foodie mini brands and fill it up so it looks all nice and pretty. But before we do that, I want to share something really cool with you guys. This company called Fun Hole sent me this cool Lego like wood cabin. And I thought since it's in the realm of miniature stuff, you all would like to see it. Before we have a look at what's inside, I just want to say that the quality of the packaging is actually really good. So I'm expecting to be some really nice quality pieces inside as well. We're not going to build it right now. I just wanted to open it with you guys and see what's inside. And then maybe in the next video, we're going to build part of it and then build some more in the video after that and so on until we finish it because this is a big project. There are 2097 pieces in total and it also comes with the lighting kit. So yeah. Oh, wow. Honestly, this is fancier than I thought. So I'm guessing these are the instructions. At first glance, it's very similar to the Lego building kits. Honestly, this is the one thing I like that everything seems to be really good quality. Like even the manual itself is, is nice, you know, really nice paper and all that. But anyway. Yeah, it seems like this is uh, wiring and other special pieces for the for the lights that go inside the cabin. Even the type of packaging they have for these are, are good quality. And by the way, if you're wondering, I'm not getting any money to say this. They just sent me this for free. So as we start building it, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with the quality of the packaging itself. Okay, so I'm guessing the rest of the box is just the pieces themselves. One thing I do want to note is I, I like that they numbered every bag, so it's, you know, it's easy to follow along. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to starting this project and I'm really curious to see what you guys think about it. And uh, yeah, I just think it's going to be a really nice, fun thing for us to do. And it's going to be really interesting to see if our minis fit in there. By the way, they have other kits on their website and in their Amazon store. I'll leave the links in the description along with a coupon for 10% off. Just want to mention that the links are affiliate links, which means I'll get a small percentage of any purchases that are made using those links. I'm not going to add too many. I just want to add a few so we can see, you know, how it looks and how do they fit on there. And you know what? You guys should let me know in the comments if you would like to see me recreate this exact food court. So let's add one of these. I think I'm going to start using this because I don't know, it's going to be easier. This looks weird, doesn't it? Look, looks like a looks like it's a bird or something, right? <laughs> Let's put one of these subway cups over here for the sushi section. We absolutely have to go with the Itsu Sushi products. The burger section, we'll just get one burger. And I think we're just going to add some random stuff on the trays. And then for the area that's right here down, it shows us a lot of boxes like the Subway to go box, the White Castle Crave Crate and all those stuff. So we're going to add some of those. You guys know I don't like these too much, but they are actually perfect for this, for the food court. And to complete everything, we're just going to add some food to the tables. Oh, we definitely need to put a drink here to go with that Subway meal. All right, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And on this note, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that subscribed lately. As usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.